Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead Cod Plus series. We are jumping into our third episode and we are going to go and try out another run, see what we can do. But I've also added a few mods to the series. We get, oh boy, oh doggy. This is going to be tough because I, like I just rather say, I've added a few mods to the series. Mainly I've added the Eternal Enemies mod. I'm going to try it out and see how it feels. It may not stick around depending on how much I like it or not. I've tweaked the settings to my liking. Wow, that was a really good hit right off the bat there. And we'll just kind of see how it goes. And I've also added Everything is Terrible too, which is basically going to add boss armor to a bunch of different bosses in the game. I do not know how that's going to go. That's another one that I'm just kind of trying out. It might end up being not very fun, but I'm kind of like intrigued. I'm kind of intrigued. Ooh, also, Eternal Flies now. Look at that. Give us a penny. Hey, fella. Oh, God. If you could... Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yes, there you go. You got him, you got him. He's still he's still pretty chunky. He's still pretty chunky. But yeah, of course, we're playing as Tainted Jacob here. Probably not gonna be a win. I would uh I would surmise so far. Probably not gonna be a win. But I will give it my best shot. I will give it my best shot. Yeah, interestingly, we have these eternal flies now. That's part of the eternal uh, champions mod. The other one dropped a penny, so I was just seeing if that one dropped any loot as well. We do have Blood Rites here, which I don't think Blood Rites is very good. We might be able to take some, like, make something out of it, depending on the run. I don't know, though. Unfortunately, it's not like we can get the, um, the old synergy with Isaac's Heart or anything like that. That doesn't work anymore. Do, do you know, I don't know which mod adds this secret room, but it's ridiculously common. Like, it shows up all the time. It's not a huge problem, to be honest, as long as it's not, like, taking over all of my second secret rooms. But it is a bit weird that I'm getting it so commonly. And I'm not sure if it's just luck of the draw or if it is just a really common room. Um, do you know, I would love, love to get Red Candle, but we can't afford it. We cannot afford it. Right, let's come in here. So, I was just about to say, we may end up getting an Eternal Boss here, and we did. That's going to happen from time to time. I have it set for to 20% chance for an Eternal boss right now. So we shouldn't see them super regularly. And it's same same for champion uh, enemies as well. When we get champion enemies, 20% chance for Eternal. Now, one problem I foresee is, obviously, some of the bosses might be a bit too common, a bit too hard, whatever. But the, the bigger problem I foresee right now is the mod that adds the... Um, oh, God. The mod that adds the new... Oh, Lord. This is tough. The new... Um, curse where like all the enemies on the floor are champions or a lot of them are that might end up being quite rough that might end up being quite rough so we'll have to see how that goes well like i said i'll end up tweaking things what i might do if i if it tends to be the that the eternal champions are a little too much then i might tweak it just so that they're a bit less common but anyways for the question of the day it's gonna bit sort of flow directly into what we're doing today i do like the nightshade uh, Quince is really good too. But yeah, um, it's going to kind of flow directly into what we're doing today. What sort of difficulty do you like in games? Do you do, Are you a Dark Souls person? Or are you the sort of person that's like so, story and sword where you just want to have a good time and you don't really like the difficulty? I'm kind of a bit of both. It depends on the game, but a lot of the time I really do like a chunky bit of difficulty in my games. Um, I, which is, it, it's, it's kind of strange to say because I'm not myself a Dark Souls player. Do you know what? I'm going to use that because this room looks horrible. Um, I'm not myself a Dark Souls player, so it's kind of odd that I'm a person that quite likes difficulty in games, yet I haven't played any of the Souls games. And I probably should. I need to get around to it. I know that they're fantastic, and obviously with Elden Ring releasing the past over the past few months, um, it's definitely got me intrigued, and I definitely want to try them. I just haven't got around to it. I think one of the reasons I kind of haven't is just because there's such a huge time sink. Like, you really need to be, like, available to play these games a lot uh, if you want to kind of keep up with it. Because you can't really take, or at least from my, in my opinion, it feels like you can't really take big breaks with those games. Because, I mean, you definitely can, but it's going to take you, like, a good while to get back into the swing of things with the difficulty um, and the gameplay and the mechanics if you take a long break. So, I feel like if I'm going to play one of those games, I kind of need to be ready for it um, and not take huge breaks or anything. 
We should be using this guy a little more often here. Okay, who we got over here? Hello, sir. Don't like you as a champion, I have to say. But we've got homing and stuff, so... Good flaw here, good flaw. But yes, definitely a, definitely a tough character here to end up playing as. That was a beautiful bit of damage on that guy, though, I will say. And there you go, he's dead. And we will grab that. Do you know, I'm going to check out the devil deal. We can steal one, remember. Um, and indeed I will. That's not the one I wanted to steal. Very, very dumb. <laughs> that is not what I wanted to do at all. I don't know how I managed to accidentally walk into that. It's it. What's done is done. We didn't. The item isn't exactly bad, but obviously, the Satanic Bible would have been far, far preferable. <laughs> May have accidentally screwed myself a little bit on this run, but it is what it is. We carry on. And yeah, just like at the minute, I'm just kind of like. I want to spice Isaac up by making it more difficult, but I don't want to make it more difficult in ways that feel unfun and unfair. Did I even check the shop on the last floor? I don't think I did, did I? Grab that. Grab that. Foil strength. Grants normal strength. Uh, tears all enemies in the room to champions. Champions guaranteed to drop their pickups. Let's try this out. This seems this seems interesting. This could be uh, this could be quite bad. So these these enemies don't, aren't even champions. That's whatever. Okay. Excuse me, y'all. I really want to make sure I take take advantage of Purgatory now that I've wasted a devil deal on it. <laughs> it's like I feel like I have to now. I feel like I owe it to Purgatory. Okay, check in here. Okay. Pass our way back through. Grab the pennies. I know I left one in that room back there, but it's whatever. Okay. Maybe we'll do it on the big L-shaped room. Gotta remember I do have blood rights to work with, and I probably will use that at some point here. So I, I can, like, save myself. So yeah, this is probably a good one. Yeah, let's just do that. Like, because it, it costs red health, so it's reasonably usable in normal rooms. Like, I don't have to waste a soul heart on it. And heal up there. Grab that. We didn't get too many additional drops in that room there. Probably would have been better to save it for another room later on, but still. We got Pinking Shears here. Do you know, I'm actually, I'm actually intrigued by... I was going to say I'm actually intrigued by Blood Rites to keep it, and we just get another active item. Why can both items be actives? That's just silly. <laughs> I know that's just the luck of the draw with Isaac, but come on now. I mean, yeah, I'm quite liking Blood Rites right now. I realize Pinking Shears is probably far better, but I don't know. Like, something about it right now, I've got, like, I've got kind of the fever for it. Like, I really think we could do some interesting stuff with it. As long as we keep a, a healthy amount of soul hearts. That was a very close call there. Very close call indeed. But yeah, like, as long as we keep getting red hearts like that, and we have a decent amount of soul hearts backed up. We can use Blood Rice essentially with very, very low risk to ourselves here. Champion version of this guy. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Insta-killed him, pretty much. There's another red heart for us. And we don't really have a, a specific path we're going to. It's just the beast. Like I said, I'll, I'll generally try and take the suggestion. But I'd rather, at least early, try and complete as many marks in one run as we can. So I might not always take the suggested path. I think that makes a lot of sense. I'm hoping you guys think so too. Oh god. I love the little homing wisp things we get here with this item. It's so good. I know they don't do a lot of damage, but it's just really satisfying to see all these little homing shots go around. And they do kill weaker enemies like this pretty easily, actually. Good, good. Here's that boy. Here comes that boy. Okay, this is where Pegator is going to be pretty useful. Careful, Jacob. Ezel's on your tail. That was just stupid of me. Got hit for essentially no reason there. We've been getting a really healthy amount of money here. This is another thing in uh, the Eternal um, 
the eternal mod that you can change. One of the settings is to make it so that room drops have a chance to not drop. I might do that just to make sure we're not getting like stupid levels of consumables like we currently are. But at the same time, I'm sure that on some runs when I get like zero keys, I'm going to be really mad at myself for changing that setting. So it's like, I don't know. We'll see. Of course, I've lost my soul hearts now, which makes using blood rights a little more dubious. Oh, God damn it, that spider. Pain in the ass. I realize that I don't really use Anima Solar enough. That's kind of something I'm guilty of. Um, I think restock's worth taking. Just because if we get a soul heart on our next shop, being able to rebuy soul hearts pretty good. Alabaster box, I do want, but I just know that I'll end up dying. Like, unless I have soul hearts, like, on the floor available to me, like, I have, like, a tinted rock double soul heart drop or something, like, available to me, then I'm usually pretty dubious to take, um, alabaster box. Unless I'm on, like, a really strong run, which this run's pretty good, but I wouldn't say it's really strong. Especially considering we've got some increased difficulty here. Bosses are going to take longer to kill. This is stupid. Just kill all of them. That room's... Si what the hell is this room? This is silly. Sometimes in modding, you just come across a room and you're like... Were you drunk? Okay, so we unfortunately lost our devil deal. I did also use birth... Um, yeah whatever it's called, this active... Why the hell have I forgotten? Blood Rite, sorry. I have uh, used Blood Rite, so my health isn't great right now. I did also just walk into an enemy for literally no reason. Um, I'm going to say that the, the the death might come, and it might not even be to Ezel, which is slightly surprising. Nice. That's a lot of money. I said at the minute, Repentance is just so full of money. I mean, obviously some of these are modded rooms that are giving us this much money, but still. Um, so now I'm actually going to go and buy Alabaster Box just to see what's underneath it. I realise that that's probably ill-informed and I should just... No, do you know what? That is that is stupid. I was going to do it, but now I'm realising like it could just be another bad item and then I've just, I'm just chasing good after bad at that point. It's like, I might as well just commit to the next floor and not worry about it so much. I think that's an eternal champion there. Yes, it was. Luckily, he died pretty quick. Oh, my lord. I'm taking so much damage right now. At least I'm not getting hit by Ezel. I'd rather be getting hit by regular enemies than Ezel. But at the same time, when no health is dropping, it's not exactly the best for me. I killed one dip with that. Thank you. Another hit. Am I just... Have I completely forgotten how to play this game? Like, have I actually completely forgotten how to play this game? Because it... It most certainly feels that way. It most certainly feels that way. I am really shitting the dead right now. Oh god. Yeah. Eternal, this guy. By the way, there is an option in the Eternal Champions mod to make it so that all Eternal Champions drop an Eternal Heart on kill. I currently have that disabled. We might find we want to re-enable that at some point. Oh no, we're so fucked. Okay, I missed out on that money there, but honestly, we survived. That is all I can ask. <laughs> yeah, so like I might end up enabling that. I might end up changing that because that, that could end up being something that we need for, for the bosses to be a bit more viable. Is this guy at Eternal? He seems to be firing really fast. I think he's not. I'm just stupid. Come on, let's, let's get a good shot going. Oh my god, we're getting some really difficult rooms right now. I'm trying to use Sack Dagger if I can. But it's not always plausible. More bombs. He is back. The bitch is back. Okay, good. Beautiful. Thank you for killing that guy. Come on, rooms. Can you, like, drop me some HP on finish, please? 
We got one of those guys. Pegatory got the second. Oh, look, there's some HP. Also, our first bloodied rock. Our very first bloodied rock. Duplicates our bombs is pretty good here. I'm just going to pop the world card. We've got tarot cloth, so we get the extra um, visibility from this. Oh, there's a mini boss over here. Sins also can be eternal as well, uh, but I will go and check this out. Do not like this room with Ezel. That room's very saucy. But yeah, it's it's a, it's a whole new it's a whole new sort of thing. And but I will say we're having a bit of a rough run right now, and I kind of like it. Like kind of having to struggle for victories is going to be good, especially when we're going for new completion marks and stuff. I think that having a bit of a bit of a struggle to get some of the marks is going to be good. I will say I'm probably going to end up getting really peed off at some point when I get like an eternal delirium or something and he absolutely slaps me. I'm sure that's going to end up frustrating me at some point. Um, but as I said, I'll kind of see how I feel as we go here. Thank you. There's a soul heart, finally. Oh my lordy lord. I can't believe it. Also, we do have the ultra secret room revealed, which means if we can get that red rock blown up and check if it has a um, cracked key in it, we could do some good stuff. And with the amount of bombs we have, I reckon it's plausible that we can get to the cracked uh, thingy if we just place a few. I think it'll take us three bombs. Oh no, only two. And we did indeed get a crack We also got a full heal, which is rare, but very welcome right now. So now we can go back over this way and actually get into our red room. And this just kind of goes to show how these rocks can be a little bit overpowered. Obviously, getting the rainbow heart isn't something that you're always going to get. It's not like a guarantee to get one of those. Wait, how exactly do I get here? I'm a little confused. Do I? I think I have to go into my cash room to get there. It's a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I know that I just got this soul heart. But I was just about to say, we might get another one back. We got Sinister Chalk here. Okay, well, there's an Eternal Leaper here. That, that's bad. That's very bad. Proptosis is good. But yeah, we, we now... If we get an eternal... Wait a minute. Are we dead? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's, um, let's run that back. That wasn't great. <laughs> I didn't really think about the plot, like, the possibility of that happening. Like... Oh yeah, if we get stuck in there with Izao and we're a ghost, we are literally dead. There's nothing we can do about it. Good point. Good point. But, but, I'm actually kind of, I mean, that death specifically was pretty my fault and, like, nothing to do with the extra difficulty. That was just me being dumb. But it's just nice to, like, have the ability to die a little more often. I mean, it'll make our streaks feel a little more rewarding and stuff. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I, I've also said it so there can only ever be one Eternal Champion per room. God damn, I'm getting hit so much today by such BS. Oh, what the? Who's making these rooms, damn it? What the hell is it? Why is there so many enemies of so many different varieties in this room? This is crazy. This is floor one, you realize that, right? This is the first floor. I guess I've just got to use Ezao to, like, clear up all of this crap. This is ridiculous. There's so many enemies in here. Luckily, we've got Ezao, which is making it way more tolerable. But this is still pretty nuts. How did you not hit him? Dude, hit him. Thank you. Feeling lucky? I still don't know why the idea descriptions aren't working correctly for this. But yeah, I think it's a random amount of luck per room. Oh, 
Oh my god. Walk direct. I mean, it was better to walk into that enemy than get hit by E-Cell, but still. Not good. Not good. Not good. Walk into a fly. I get so committed to using Ezao effectively that I end up just hurting myself all the time. That's at least a soul heart. We'll go down. That last run was definitely interesting. I hope we get something similar, but yeah, at the end of the day, my bad for dying. It's just how it is. Ah, get locked in, boy. Not much you can do now, fella. Lock down the stationary enemy. Hazard. Is this is is this another like what like what the hell's going on? I think this is another Ipecac room. Like the fuck's going on with these rooms? There's just a redonkulous amount of enemies. There's an eternal champion here that we've managed to kill with Ezo. I don't know if this is like a recent update or if these have always been here and are just rare. God damn it, crazy. I want you to charge first before I press this button. Really? Failed again? Oh, when I got hit. Good. I am just a machine at getting hit by random BS right now. I'm so good at it. Okay. This room shouldn't be so bad. Don't get hit by the stupid pooters. We do have a, tin, a tinted rock there, but we unfortunately don't have a bomb. It's a little hard to utilize right now. In fact, it's more than a little hard. It's completely impossible to utilize right now. We got burn bombs. I'm going to guess they, like, place burn spares when we use them. Something along those lines. Hello, sir. Little bomb beggar. How are you? How are you this fine, fine day? Okay, that was a decent amount of them killed. I, I tend to try and like to just get him to walk into them, which he just did a little bit there. There we go. That was great. Fantastic. Isao is, like, really nice for just clearing rooms faster and, like, killing bosses faster if you know how to utilize him, but he is still a bit of a bitch. So annoying when this happens. Sometimes when you kill him, all the spiders disappear. Other times it's like, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick around. Okay, this time, take the right fucking item. <laughs> oh, lord. Just take the book, you idiot. <laughs> so, okay. We're good now. We got it. We did it. Now we've got health regen and a good way of getting good devil deals on our bosses. Little Chubbs doing his doing his job, doing his work. Good, good. Another black heart for us. Yes. This is so much better. So much better. Oh, we've got so many evil rooms here. So many rooms that would just be a pain if Ezo was in them. <laughs> chill, Ezo, chill. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Right, let's just quickly do this, do the boss. We got the Fallen, which is kind of annoying because we would have got to deal with the devil whether it was the Fallen or not. Wow, he just got wrecked. Just don't get hit twice. Getting hit once is fine, don't get hit twice. So we got Abyssal Bombs here. Uh, I will actually take those later on. Obviously, I want to complete the floor first. Ah, dude, decide which way you want to go and stop messing around. We have actually seen our item room and stuff, so I could just go. I probably should just go. Right. Uh, yeah, I've not got enough money for the shop. Do you know what? We'll, we'll one room off of a charge. Let's at least get that ready for the next floor. Cool. 
cool. Right, so we'll get we have that ready for the next floor. And then in here, we get... I want to keep you still first. We get hit by you. Take that. Go. See, now we've got a, a little thing going on here where we can take some extra devil deals. It's very nice. And then we can pop this. Curse of Famine. We've got all, also Swarm is like kind of helping us out quite a lot too. I didn't really think about how good Swarm is being for us right now. It's blocking shots. It's creating blue flies. It's, it does some good stuff. Swarm's an item that I, uh, I feel like I wouldn't even say underrate it. I just haven't had it enough to realize how good it actually is. Like, look at it. It's just completely blocked all those guys, sh all that guy's shots. Then get hit by him once, even though there was probably quite a few shots in there that probably should have hit me. Okay, so we probably get Bookworm here, which is rather nice. I think uh, Ezao will end up spawning in this room because we're taking a good amount of time. Not quite. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so indeed we did get... Bookworm, nice. Do you know what? I'm just going to take the battery. I realize I should min-max and come back for it, but I'm just taking it. But this is nice because now we have a bit of a damage boost. Little bit of a damage boost. It's not a crazy high damage boost, obviously. Bookworm doesn't give you permanent 2020 or anything, but it is pretty good. I should maybe remember to try and go back and fly and pick up some of that stuff there, but you know for a fact I'll forget. Honestly, little chub doing work right now. Is that an Eternal guy? It's, the one thing about the Eternal Champions is it is, it is kind of hard to tell. Like, I'm pretty sure that guy is, but obviously with them just being white, it's sometimes when the enemy is already kind of white, it's difficult to actually be, be sure. Obviously, some bosses is obvious, but some enemies that are already, like these dudes that are already white, I'm also know, noticed they're Eternal by the fact that they're larger, and that's about it. This is a very treacherous room right now. Okay, nice. Chubb did the work again. I'm telling you, Chubb's so good right now. He is our best boy. I don't know if, like, little enemies that can't normally be champions can be eternal champions. I'm going to guess not, but, I, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, that was good damage on these dudes. We're running out of swarms, but that's okay. We'll pop that again. We still haven't found an item room. I'm going to guess it's back that way. Before they even spawned enemies. Oh, get him. Nice one. Thank you. Okay, yeah, it is back that way. I kind of thought it would be. Right, let's quickly go back. There's a lot of stuff on this floor that we can get utilizing flight, so I kind of want to do that. We unlocked coffins. Nice. That's another Repentance Plus unlock we've gained. I'm liking this. It's fun to be able to, like, gain these things naturally. And I feel like a lot of the time I've complained about Repentance Plus being overpowered in some ways. But now that you have to unlock things, it probably is going to feel a lot less overpowered. Because I'm going to get it all gradually rather than just having it all at once. That's still not to say that when you have them all at once, it's not a bit overpowered. But it's going to feel a lot a lot more balanced in the in the long run. Which is kind of what I was hoping for. Which is one of the big reasons I wanted to start this new version of the series. Okay. Let's make our way to our boss. And hope we can get some good devil deals going. We have a 67% chance for an actual devil deal. And we're getting a guaranteed devil deal item from killing the boss. It is Eternal Mega Fatty, so I'm going to use some, um, I'm going to use some bombs here. That was very close. He sucked me in and I didn't sort of realize. We got Chocolate Bar, which for some reason is a regular item and not a thingy item, so that's a bit weird. We'll take that. That is a, actually a good item nonetheless. We will take Mum's Knife because I haven't had that in a while. Grab both of them. 
I'll at least grab this key. I'm not going to go all the way back and get everything because I'm just a little scared that I'm going to die. But yeah, Mum's Knife, interesting. I don't know why, yeah, the, the chocolate bar showed up instead of a real boss item. I don't know if that's like a modded bug or something to do with the Eternal Champions or what. I, I really don't know. Thank God we don't have to deal with these out in this room. But yeah, it's been a little while since I've had uh, a good old Mum's Knife run, so... The El Clasico is back. Definitely needed as well. We didn't have great damage. Pop that again. Health is looking way better now as well. Now that we have some regen. Would have had this last run if I'd have just not been an absolute goober. But then again, even if we had this last run, it wouldn't really have prevented the death that I ended up having. I have to say, not a huge fan of this room. Managed to get through it pretty quick. Rooms where it's like, oh, the enemy can appear in an unhittable location. I realize normally I wouldn't have Mum's knives. So I would be able to hit it, but you know what I mean. There's a lot of rooms where it's like, oh, well, they can appear behind these iron blocks. And sometimes they just repeatedly appear behind the iron blocks. It's very frustrating. One more goober over here. We've even got a cell heart here for some little friends. Thank you. Take out these guys first. How did I miss that? I think I like accidentally fired on an angle there and just missed him. Okay, about to get another... Ooh, we got one of these. Another rainbow heart. I don't know why they're being so common from these guys. Okay, pop that. Check out the shop here. I think this, even with only two floors of it remaining, is good. We'll also check out that. I don't actually know what this does, so let's drop it and find out. Uh, spawns either... Okay, this is the one that's going to give us whatever we have least of, and we have least of keys. So that's a very good card, that. I really like that. It's, especially if you find it early and you're, like, lacking on a few things, it's going to help you get those few things that you need. Obviously, this will onto a run. You often don't need need them. Yeah, rooms like this with ease out are just physical pain. Did I even need to complete that? I just realized after walking out, it didn't make the door opening sound effect. There might be a very strong chance I didn't actually need to complete any of that. Dude, dude, ease out. That was some bullshit and you know it. Right, let's try and do the boss first. Dark Prince's crown, thank you. Yeah, that was some BS and you know it. I, I could go for item room. Honestly, I don't think it's worth it. I realize I just picked up um, more options, but it's just too risky. That dude screwed me over big style. Got a verp. I don't know why he spawns so early this floor. Good. Pop that bad boy. Yeah, I'm going to say, I, I just, just didn't want to take the risk. We're doing a lot better. Oh, god damn. That's, an, that's a big Eternal Champion. In a room like this, that's kind of huge. I didn't actually realize Eternal Champions could spawn as, re like, regular boss room enemies. I thought they were exclusive to actual boss rooms. But interesting to know nonetheless. I mean, it's probably going to make the chest and the void and stuff quite a bit harder. But we'll see how that goes. I suppose there's no real distinction between the two, apart from with stuff like Gary. There's an Eternal guy. Brain fires Psy shots. They're not, they're honestly not too hard. Like, as you can clearly see, like, they don't have a lot of extra health. They really only have standard champion health. And their attack patterns, at least for a lot of them, aren't too difficult. I know there's a few Repentance ones um, on the alt floors that have some really nasty attack patterns. But for the most part, they're really not too bad. I will check out this um, dice room, but if it's a reroll, I probably won't take it. It's a four room. Four rooms, rerolls, or pedestals. We might want to play around with that. I'll see. I'm trying to use my bombs a little more often because I've got so many of them and they spawn locusts.
Good, good. And there's another bomb for me there. So, I thought I had options, but this is a mimic room, so... Oh, wait, no, it's not. So, so why? Wait, what? There's some weird stuff going on right now in my game. There's just stuff that just isn't working. Like, why the hell is my options not working? It's, that that one does affect item rooms, right? It's not bosses that affects. The white ones, the white more options is the one that affects bosses, right? I'm very confused. I'm scared to get, like, an eternal version of Mother or something. I know it's going to happen at some point, but yeah, I am a little scared. Um, I'll take that for now. Cramp Arena. Lumpacol's pretty good for us here. I'm going to at least check out Boss Rush, because I do want to try and get the completion mark. Um... I think Continuum is pretty good, so I'm going to take it. Just because the extra range with Mum's Knife is going to be very good. So far, I've not really noticed the boss armor mod doing too much. Now, one thing I will say is um, apparently the Eternal Champions mod does mess with boss armor. So it's, it's very possible that one is overwriting the other. I've got both installed just to see. But it might be the case that we're only actually having one ever in effect at the same time. Okay, no, it definitely is an effect because Blastasis is not getting... Anywhere near as wrecked as he normally is, right? Blastasis kind of took a bit of a beating there. Like, he doesn't have a lot of armor. Oh, yeah, this is this is 100% in effect. Blastasis is taking a lot longer to kill than normal. Like, not, like, a ridiculous amount of time, but normally Mum's knife would just, like, literally insta-kill him. And now we're actually having to keep our knife on him for a good amount of time. This is actually a good test of this mod, just to see how it... How it first. Because do do note that not every single bo uh, boss in the game has boss armor. Only some. So, like, we're not going to see any increase to this guy. Because he doesn't have any boss armor. I don't know if the... I think the angels do get an increase. It does feel like they do. He's going to brimstone me. That's fine. You do you. I've got my active, so I don't really care. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to know. I think Blur is another one that gets some sort of armor. We've got Soul Heart there. That's rather nice. We don't have Flight right now. Don't forget that. Oh, my God. It feels like he's got a bit of armor, too. It's kind of hard to say because we are on a very strong run. Like, Mum's Knife is always going to be kind of crazy. But it definitely feels like some of these enemies are taking a little bit more of a beating than normal. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys kind of feel it too? Enemies aren't just insta-dying sort of thing. I don't know where Izo is. I keep losing him. Oh shit, I was like, where's the other boss? And there's just him just chilling there. Okay, you just got wrecked, Pin. Like, yeah, like, bosses like that are gonna insta die. But, yeah, this guy. Wait a minute, I'm actually gonna go and quickly do a, a, a check. And see if Carrion Queen has armor to see if it's placebo effect or not. Because I feel like it could end up being placebo effect. Um... Du -du 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 -du. I don't actually see Carrion Queen on there. This this might just be me being placeboed. Um... A lot of them are the end game bosses. The bloat did get armor, yeah. 
Loki gets armor 2, Conquest, Skull X, um, Triacne, Deadly Long Legs, Mama Gurdy, Mr. Fred, Sister Viz, the Matriarch, the Visage. All those sort of ones get armor. But yeah, this guy doesn't actually have any, which surprises me. But then again, this guy is kind of hard to hit, so it might just be that I'm having trouble actually hitting him. Well, that guy died instantly. Yeah, there's some of these bosses that are literally dying in a single hit. Yeah, I don't know which other bosses in Boss Rush have, um... Like, which other bosses we have left. I might get the, um, updated Boss Rush mod as well. There's a mod that, like, adds a bunch of missing bosses to Boss Rush. But it does make Boss Rush a bit harder. I kind of maybe like the idea of doing that. That could be kind of fun. Like I said, we're trying to make the game harder, but in meaningful ways. And I feel like that's a good one. Uh, also, you might notice that attack flies are significantly faster. That's another part of um, the Eternal Champions mod. Yeah. We're almost there. There you go. We did it and we unlocked a business card. Intriguing. The business card. Nice. So let's go down. So we, like, I feel like even if we die this episode, we've now at least achieved something. We've got an A mark as this guy, and we've unlocked a few things on this run. You need to calm down, sir. Also, I should pop this even if I don't need the health, just so we get a Devil Deal item at the end of the floor. You can't penetrate my impenetrable wall of flies. Like, this guy does have a little bit of armor. Oh, wait, no, is it Terra Terma that has the armor? It might be Terra Terma, actually. This guy might not have any. On a chest. I don't even know why. I, just, I, like, walked right into that. That's not how they work. You fool. There is also uh, an option for this mod, for the Eternal Champions mod, that's, like, damage scaling, where essentially... As your damage increases, you get diminishing returns, so you can never have too much damage. I kind of like the idea of that, but at the same time, I think that, like, that's just going to neuter overpowered runs in a kind of a unfun way. Like, when you get overpowered, even in modding, it's still kind of rewarding. So it's like, I don't want to completely remove that. I don't want it to no longer feel good to, um, to get overpowered runs. This is why I was a little worried about the um, the extra boss armor. Because boss armor can just artificially increase the length of fights. But then again, especially if they're going to be eternal bosses, increasing the length of fights is probably a good thing. But yeah, I don't exactly know how boss armor is going to end up working alongside eternal champions. Like, eternal bosses, sorry. Three random hearts. It says three. It only ever spawns two. Right, keep her going. This guy's definitely, like, this is the most noticeable one. But bear in mind, for this guy specifically, I actually went into the files and edited the amount of armor this guy had because all the comments said he had too much. So I edited it, and he still feels like he has quite a lot. Didn't mean to get hit there, but it's fine. No, thank you. This is my, my beautiful book. My beautiful, beautiful book. Should be seeing the boss any moment now. There you go. Slightly annoying enemies here, but we're, we're okay. And we did indeed get blast assists. I don't know why he'd spawned there, though. Yeah, this is significantly, like, longer 
for a mum's knife run than normal. Oh, I got hit quite a lot there. That was a bit pretty stupid. Okay, so let's get hit by you. Take that. And then... I don't... I don't have any other guppy items. I'll take Abaddon. It's a bit risky, but it puts us on full black health. By the way, the the thing that we just got there, the um, bottomless star of the pit, whatever it's called, super powerful. I don't know if it actually works with Mum's Knife, though. It used to not work with Brimstone, so... It stands to reason that it won't work with that either. But essentially, it makes... Um, on hit, we spawn Locusts, and it turns all blue flies into Locusts. It's very, very, very strong. Oh, no, it seems to work. It seems to work. Nice. Yeah, we don't need to use Book of Satan. Satanic Bible, sorry. This early, because obviously... Oh, my God. We're going to just... Um, what the hell am I trying to say? We're not going to get an item from the boss anyways, so that doesn't really matter. Obviously, we can use it now, because we're actually missing HP. Unfortunately, went the wrong way here. Good old Utero 2. Terrible bit of damage there. I don't really mind taking dumb hits like that every so often because we have some way to regen it. But I don't want to be doing that a lot. Okay, we got an Eternal Champion there. See what I mean? Like, even the Eternal Champions, sometimes they just get absolutely smacked. Like, they're not always going to be really powerful. It depends on the run. It depends on the champion as well. As I said, some of them are really strong, some of them aren't. Okay, give me that. Give me that. These enemies are a big old pain in the ass. Okay, what we got here. The clickety clacks can be a little annoying because they leave those little burn piles around. Don't you dive at me. I was going to say I'm in a straight line with no way to escape. Don't you dive at me. Okay. No eternal mum heart. That, that's going to be a scary day. The eternal mum's heart fight is going to be kind of scary. But this, as you can clearly see, Mum's Heart has a significant amount more armor. She is taking a lot... Like, she's still dying quick with Ezel, but she is taking a lot longer to die than normal. We also got Sibling Rivalry unlocked. Very nice. Um, I don't think we can do Hush. I honestly, like... It's plausible, but if it's an Eternal Hush, we'd be just Shreked. And I'd rather just go for the completion marks this way. You may also wonder why I'm not going for angel deals yet and going for Mega Satan. I probably should. But the, you got to remember, the, these characters already have Mega Satan unlock, so it's not going to be like a new unlock. It's mainly going to be, I think the big one's going to be killing Mum's Heart is going to unlock us a lot of stuff. Because none of the uh, tainted characters have um, unlocks from Mum's Heart. Not a single one of them. Or like, none of them have actual unlocks. They're all just like unlock babies, from what I remember. Ow. Are we going to health up there? That's actually pretty good, actually, because if we activate this, if we get, fill that with a red heart, we have Dark Prince's crown enabled, which we haven't had enabled, like, all run. Okay. And potentially worry some enemies here. So I was just walking into the spikes over and over again. Well done. Wait, let's go back and get that red heart wherever it is. And just make sure that the uh, Dark Prince's crown is active. Because that's going to give us, I think, fire rate and range and a few other things. It gives us fire rate, uh, range and shot speed. So the range is really good. The fire rate is also really good. The extra charge plus extra range means that the knife is going to have significantly more range than normal. Because obviously, with Repentance, the knife's range got pretty harshly nerfed. It got kind of neutered a bit. The Eternal Flies zipping around. That's something we've got to get used to. Good 
good. Don't know what hand's coming at me here. Luckily, I was quite ready for that, apparently. Ooh, I do not like this sort of room here. Okay, we made it through, but that was a little scary. We'll pop that real quick. Now, this is going to be a hard fight. This guy has significantly more armor, and I mean significant. Like, this guy has, like, ridiculous boss armor now. He's not just a pushover. So he's actually going to take a good amount of time to fight. And I've already been hit twice. Oh my god, three times. This is four times. Wow. See, this is the sort of thing, it's like, normally you don't really notice that Isaac's a hard fight. And then you fight him with a ton of boss armor and you're like, oh shit, this is actually really hard. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, I can't stand still because of Ezel, so I'm having a pretty hard time here. I should also use my bombs a little more often. Oh my god. This I like this, though. Having the fights not be like just over instantly when you've got a powerful build. We unlocked Red King as well. Nice. That's good. Glass cannon's kind of maybe good, but I don't think we have the actual damage to support glass cannon being really good. I think this floor is going to be kind of tough because we're probably going to get some eternal bosses like this. And the bosses are going to have some armor as well. It's going to make our life a little harder in some respects. Okay, why are you firing like that? Is, I, okay, I think this guy is an eternal champion. But because of the mod that I have, he's not showing up as an Eternal Champion. This is tough. Yeah, because of the Resprite mod I have, he's not actually showing up as an Eternal Champion. He's just showing up as the regular him. Which is going to be a little problematic. As you can see there, that this guy is Eternal. Why? Okay, one thing I'm, I am a little curious about is... Why is it that there's three of these guys in one room and every single one of them's eternal? Oh my lord. There's so many shots in the air. I might die in this room. Like, why are all why are all of them eternal? This makes no sense to me. I thought it was meant to be max of one per room. Not every single one in the room is eternal all at once. This is there's just too much. Th these are the sort of eternal champions where it's like, well yeah, this is bullshit. This guy just fires out a bunch of shots whenever you're killing us. It's gonna cause some problems. Okay, we're probably dead. We're probably dead. Surprisingly, not at the hands of Ezo, at least so far. Okay. Like, this is wild. There's so many shots in the air. There's no way I'm going to be able to live through this. Remember that Blue Baby's going to have a load more boss armor as well. Like, a load more. There you go. Unfortunately, we died. That's going to happen. It's going to be tough. We're going to have a much harder time fighting those. I'm a little upset to see that Eternal Champions can appear anywhere. I was really hoping they'd be boss room specific, because that's going to make this floor ridiculously difficult. I might have to lower the chance for Eternal uh, bosses. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a really fun episode. We unlocked some good stuff. And do remember that um, we got the unlocks that this guy who doesn't normally have for Repentance Plus the defeating blue baby is an unlock this guy already has so we're not missing out on anything there either way hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one